Hello everybody, my name is Kitty Saki Jackie and welcome to The Supper. I don't know much about it, I just randomly found it on Steam. Seems like it came out a few days ago. And seems interesting. Let's go for it. Uh, apparently it's about an old lady that makes food with humans. <laughs> I don't know. A bite-sized game by Octavi Navarro. Navarro, Navajo. How do we pronounce your name, Octavi? Octavi? Ooh, hello there. Psst. Miss Appleton. Wake up. Hello. What? Why is your arms and legs? I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time! Where's the time? Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Uh, I don't think so. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, since I can save, let's save. New save, yes. Uh, I cannot... Oh, okay, I click to walk. So, embers. Special sauce. Uh, recipes. Pigeons a la sauce rosé. One wild pigeon covered with special sauce. Okay, spicy, spicy red... Swordfish. Let's do a thing at a time. Let's first let's get the wild pigeon with the special sauce. Um, and what is, what is this? An empty pot. Okay, the only way for me to walk is clicking. Uh, solid wax, fire tongues. Oh, I can get those. Swordfish tail. Can I can I cut the swordfish tail with the fire tongues? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe with ah. Why did I get this? Can I put this here? I guess not. Uh, okay, it is a point and click. So uh, let, let's go outside. Ah, I need to light. I know, it's dark in here. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I, I don't care. It's dark in here. Yes. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Maybe I can do like this? Oh, okay! I kind of saw this in the trailer, but I wasn't expecting to be so... F oh, never mind. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Uh-huh. Empty water jug. Oh, I can get some stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's. But I need food. I cannot just have no time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients come this way. Why don't you go and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Just a special sauce? Oh, I can ring the bell. Ding ding ding. <laughs> Secret country noises. <laughs> Special sauce. Mmm, smells delicious. Do you hear it, Mr. Up Miss Appleton? Horses, crawling stomachs. Amazing. Here they come. Yes, they are here, Miss Appleton. Uh and they ring my bell. Oh, I was reading that. Let's talk to them. Hello, cust- Wow! There's a lot of you. Hi! Okay, look! The chest! These are the men we've been looking for. Are they? Let's find them a place to sit. Quickly! Please sit down, I have plenty of chairs. 
So, what would the gentleman like to start with? Uh, mind control. Old man, what do you want? Excellent choice. Pigeon a la sauce, sauce rosé is our chef's speciality. Mm. He, lo he looks happy. He's okay, he sounds happy. A and you, what do you want? Oh, spicy red swordfish, a personal favorite. A mouth-watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega-3. Tasty. Yum, yum. Uh, and you, deadly shark. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. Delicious! And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. Yes, Miss Appleton, I was right. So, that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. Pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Cool, of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Tasty, come on Miss Appleton, go on and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipe list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problems remembering them. I need a pigeon. I suppose it is outside. Yes, there's the pigeon. I cannot reach the pigeon. Joel's Lobster Inn. Best place in town for a snack. How do I get the pigeon? But I don't know how to get the pigeon. Rope ladder. My god, Miss Appleton, you're useless. Okay, <laughs> poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Can I still get something from him? Nice, I got a boot. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the boot. How am I going to get this pigeon? Oh my god, I just threw it. I do Ah! Uh, that's the main ingredient for pigeon supreme a la sauce rose. Rosé. Now let's finish the dish. I just threw a boot on the poor pigeon. I didn't touch it. What Poor pigeon! So can I just put the pigeon in here? Apparently. I did a thing! Uh, yes! Well done, Miss Appleton! The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. I didn't even cook the pigeon. I just killed it with a wet boot. And that was it. Delicious. Uh, oh yeah, I have to actually give it to him. Bon appétit, monsieur. Are you going to give me something? Oh god. <laughs> And he's dead! You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Great! Don't worry, they are used to passed out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. They won't notice I just killed the man? Alright, I just killed the man and nobody noticed. That's awesome. But now that I have scissors, I can come here, I suppose. Yes, cut the rope. My god, Miss Sepulton, be useful for once. Great. She already looks like a pirate, like... Oh my god, what did I just saw? What was that? Yes, I got water. I have a full water jug. I don't know why, but I have it. The seedling looks completely parched. We need to fill to find a nice drink. Oh, I just did. There you go. I love how plants and games just like grow out of nothing. Like you put a little bit of water, that's it. Okay, I got the pepper. And uh, what else 
Hello there. Hmm, I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. I, I don't want to taste his blood. Butcher knife. Oh yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray. My sister's second husband. I hope you are talking. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up never again, Clint. Yeah, Clint. Fuck you. You beat up my sister, you deserve to be dead. Now, is there anything else they can get here? Guess not. But, but maybe with the knife, I can cut the tail off that fish. So let's go there and figure it out. Yeah, can I get the... F yes, I can. Look at that. Now, uh, a blue swordfish tail, one chili pepper, and cover with the sauce. Okay, how do I do it? Like this? Oh, perfect! Yes, now we finish the dish. I'm doing things that I have no idea why they're working, but they're working, so I'm happy. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Isn't that great? Uh, are you the one that wanted the swordfish, right? I think so. Yeah, you're the one that likes the swordfish. Just give me one second. There it is. Bon appétit. Does it taste good? Uh, did you wait it with your head? Yeah, I know. Delicious, isn't it? Oh, yes. A satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. Haha, <laughs> do you get it, Mr. Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Great. Feels like I am the one doing the things here, Mr. Appleton. You're just following my lead. You're just saying every you're just doing everything that my master mind tells you to. Okay, I have the jail door keys. Oh, okay, a skeleton hand. Ah, uh, oh, I know, I uh, know, I don't. But I don't think I can cut his tongue. Oh, I can cut, I can get his tongue. Cool, can I do it like this? No. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do, I know what to do, I know what to do. I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Come on, come on. Yes, I know he's not hungry. Yeah. Now it's a box hand. Ha! There it is. That was stupid. Like, I was stupid. Okay, well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew's ready to be served. I bet he's going to die. With the taste of it. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. I know, right? Delicious. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great! Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. Oh, I know. Maybe I can use the wooden cart this time. Yes, I can. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. That was smart of me. I know. dum de doom Miss Appleton, ten phantoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of... Oh, here you are. Here I am. Oh, here you are. I'm just telling you what to do. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. 
Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. Oh, seems like it's fine. There it is, my special sauce. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Thank you. But who am I? <laughs> oh, it's a body inside the chest. Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. I'm the ghost. At last I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. I have so many good memories of you and I and I working side by side. You are my dearest friend. Aww. When those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I won it fair and square. That's sad. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you find me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones, near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. Oh, that was cuter than I was expecting. Kind of. In a certain way. <laughs> if ignore the murders and stuff. And then I, I was a sweet old lady, just like... They become a monster and stuff like that. Oh, nice! Nice! That was cute! That was small and pretty nice to play. I liked it. It was, it was nice. Yay! Uh, very good, Octavi Navarro. Very, very good. I liked it. It was a cute story. But I don't know. Maybe it could be a little bit longer. No, but it was good. It was good. It was very small and good. Ah, I want to see more of those. Narrator front by... Oh, narrator front. Font. Narrator font. I was already thinking there was someone narrating, but there was no one narrating. Thank you for playing. Oh, you're welcome, little pigeon that I killed with a wet boot. If you enjoyed this little game, please consider supporting the developer. So we can keep creating games. I'll try my best. You can do so by buying the PDF art book DLC. Thank you for your generosity. I would love to. Well, anyway, apparently the game was it. Hope you guys liked it. I liked it. It was a pretty nice small game. If you liked it, consider going there. I'm going to leave the link of the game in the description. And if you like the game, buy the book. It was a pretty nice little game. I hope you do more in the future, Octavi. Octavi. Octavi Navarro. Anyway, hope you guys have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next tale.